everyone. We are so excited to welcome Deanna Brower, Executive Director of the Palacios Foundation, a nonprofit serving children all throughout uh, Columbia, South America. So welcome, Deanna. Thank you so much for being here. Yes, thank you. Hi, I'm glad I could be here. Excellent. Awesome. So we're just going to jump right into it. So can you tell me what exactly is your mission and purpose at the Palacios Foundation? Right. So our main purpose is to help disadvantaged children and teens um, throughout Colombia uh, provide opportunities uh, to create a new life for them. Uh, and that's through the vehicle of providing uh, education, um, life and basketball skills, and providing for basic necessities. That's awesome. Great. Um, so can you tell me, how did you come up with the idea for your nonprofit? Well, actually, uh, it wasn't original because um, uh, Celia Mosquera Palacios, uh, which is the matriarch, basically, of the Palacios Foundation, started this decades ago in Colombia herself. Um, and originally, um, she had created a school, um, an orphanage, and um, funds to help give food and clothing and shelter to people in her community. Um, however, she uh, passed away about seven years ago. And now we have reached across both continents um, to gather resources from America and South America. So we're just continuing her legacy. Oh, perfect. That's awesome. Great to know. Thank you so much. Um, so can you give me an example with all that great work you're describing, an example of maybe one individual or a family or perhaps a program that's been really taking off for you? Sure, sure. So uh, one individual I can tell you about um, named Enrique in the state of Chico, which is um, more in the jungle, it's a lot more rural, um, is a little bit rough around the edges, so you may say. And um, he was uh, bullying a lot of kids in the neighborhood. Um, he came from a very uh, economically disadvantaged home and was causing a lot of problems. And the Palacios family uh, was developed, uh, they had a basketball clinic at the time and he was bullying some of the kids in the clinic. Well, instead of um, admonishing him and so forth, we pulled him in and brought him into the clinic and he became one of the biggest advocates and came every day, stayed afterward and almost became kind of a member of the family. Um, and we continue to reach out to him and his family. So instead of becoming a statistic and uh, another bully, he's really uh, begun to change his life around. So that's an example. That's really great. That uh, is fantastic work. Let's talk about now the, entre the entrepreneurial journey of launching this nonprofit. So can you tell me a little bit about how you felt when you first started out? Oh my goodness. Uh, well, it was a swirl of emotions. Of course, excited um, to continue this legacy that the matriarch of the family um, created. However, <laughs> I can't even begin to tell you how frustrating it was because um, the information out available is disjointed, confusing at best. Um, so I would say those were some, some of the predominant emotions going around. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, well, congratulations for getting through those. <laughs> You've clearly done a good job of that. Um, so what would you say was your biggest challenge on the journey of launching the Palacios Foundation, getting your 501c3? Um, what, what did that process look like for you? I, I would say the biggest challenge was finding a vehicle with which to make this happen. Um, I scanned a lot of resources, both online and, um, I guess, brick and mortar, hitting the pavement. I, I checked into law firms and still found that I, it, the whole process was very confusing. Yeah. And on top of that, extremely expensive. I'm, we're talking about double digit thousands to get this set up. And I, I said to the attorneys, I might as well just not even set something up and just give the money directly to the kids. Yeah. So uh, back to, you know, your question, um, working with the uh, really helped funnel and channel the process to make it happen. What were those main differentiators about Yippie Kaye 
that you found in comparison to some of the other solutions after you really realized, okay, this is legit. This is a real thing. Yeah, so differentiators. Uh, when you start researching a company, um, you can clearly see if something's legit or legitimate or not after the initial shock of, is this too good to be true? Um, their business practices set, set them apart. Um, their adherence to the law, ethical practices. I mean, these are all things that stand out as a legitimate business and uh, expertise, knowing what they're doing. Uh, and on top of that was the wonderful benefit of the very um, efficient, economically efficient streamlined cost. So these were all delineators for me. So what would you tell someone else then in, in, in the situation you were in that's doing that research, out trying to figure out about, you know, figure out these fragmented solutions? What would you tell someone considering Yippie Kaye's service? I would say do your research, but don't waste time. Uh, go directly to Yippie Kaye. So one final question. How do we find you? How do we send people to your site? How do we give you supporters um, and, and help with some of these great events and all the great work you're doing? Great. Thank you. Okay. Well, um, on the web at palaciosfoundations.org. We're also on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And you can also email us at contact at palaciosfoundations.org. So we would love to hear from you. Thank you. Struggling with the 501c3 or compliance paperwork involved in growing or launching your nonprofit? Are you stuck, confused, or overwhelmed in your calling to make an impact? We can fast track the process and save you months or years of expensive trial and error in growing a successful nonprofit. Get the guidance and support you need to launch and grow your nonprofit and raise the funds to support you and your organization guaranteed. Learn more and schedule a free consult call at heroes.do. Tell me a little bit about how you felt when you first started out. Oh, my goodness. Uh, well, it was a swirl of emotions. Of course, excited um, to continue this legacy.